Let's talk about tuning for a minute. Now, tuning a string instrument is an ongoing practice, right? Even when we tune them, we have to retune them. Strings stretch, tuning pegs get bumped. Uh, it's life, it happens. But I have had some questions about a common phenomenon that seems to happen with a few ukuleles, not all ukuleles, but many ukuleles, and that is having your G string in tune, and this one is pretty much right on, a couple cents sharp, but that's okay. And then when you go to play an A, that is sharp, and this one is reading over 20 cents sharp. So how does that happen? How do we go from having the G pretty much right on the money to the A, or even the B, uh, sharp? And there's a couple things that could be contributing to that. Uh, one would be that the instrument is set up in such a way that the fret markers are not exactly producing, you know, a good intonation. So the, the physical characteristics of the frets themselves um, are a little bit off, and that could happen with a really cheaply made ukulele or an ukulele like this one, where I've changed the G string to a low G, for example, and maybe just some of the properties of the string in combination with the neck length, where between the nut and the saddle, um, you know, or the bridge, those things are not quite jiving, okay? That's, that's I would say, the least likely scenario. Second thing, the second way you could be getting sharp notes, which is probably more common, is by having what we call a lot of uh, action. The action is high. And what the action is, is the space or the distance, how much the string moves down when you press it onto the neck. And in this one, you can see when I go up the neck, uh, we end up with a lot more space and then down towards the nut, not so much. And that's pretty common. Um, the, the reason the, that that matters is it has to do with the, the string uh, stretching the more you uh, bend it down, right? So if you have something that's flat and then you, you go like this, well, obviously this is tightening. So instead of just making the string shorter by pressing our finger down, we're actually tightening the string because it has to bend. I hope that makes sense. So what I've noticed is that the harder I press on, let's say the A note, for example, the sharper it goes, which kind of makes sense. But knowing that, if I want my ukulele to be more in tune, I need to press more gently and use less pressure. So let me give you an example. Here's the open G. I'm gonna tune this down a little. And actually, if you if you just need to tune down a few cents, rather than use the tuning peg, I just give it a little stretch. And sometimes that does it. And it did. Okay, so I'm gonna call this pretty much right on the money. It's even maybe just like one cent flat, but we're not gonna split hairs here. Okay, so the G's in tune. Now if I play my A, let's just play it with normal pressure. It's showing around 10 cents sharp. Now I'm gonna press down even more. And it's, I can't even read that on here. It's over 20 cents sharp. It's off the charts. Now I just went a quarter tone. A quarter tone. <laughs> That's 50 cents if my math is correct. So how can we fix that? Well, let's go press it very gently. Not too bad, I'm below 10 cents sharp. So that's one uh, strategy that you can use. Just try to press more gently. And what will happen is when you're a beginner, you know, you're kind of pressing hard because you don't have the technique. I went through this, you're gonna go through it if you're a beginner. Most beginners are overworking. You know, we're, we're working too hard because we don't have the muscle memory and the technique to press lightly. When you see accomplished musicians playing, doesn't matter what instrument, they look very relaxed, right? Otherwise they wouldn't have gotten to that high level. So um, that's one fix. Another thing you can do is a little bit of a cheat or hack, which is tune the G string down a little bit. So let's try that. I'm gonna tune this 
let's go about it. That's about seven cents flat right now. Now it'll still sound okay on the C chord. It sounds okay, but now I, when I go to my F, the F sounds better because now my A is pretty much right on or even if it goes a little sharp. You know, you're gonna split the difference. Now, of course, another fix for this action issue is to actually lower the strings, which involves taking a little bit off of the saddle and or the nut. Now, if you feel like you can handle that, maybe loosen the strings, take the saddle out, um, file it down a little bit, put it back in. If, you, if you're that kind of person, you don't mind tinkering with stuff, you can try it yourself or you can send it to a shop and have a professional do it. But you, you could certainly address the string action. I think a lot of ukuleles ship with kind of high action to avoid any buzzing and rubbing on instruments that maybe you know, were made more at the factory level and not at the artisan level. So that's another thing you can try. So that's my fix for you all for that nagging G string going sharp. I hope this is helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. I'm Kalani. Thanks for watching.